Okay, so after um, installing GIMP and uh, NIC to your computer, you have to prepare uh, GIMP to open uh, the NIC collection. Now, I'm going to open up GIMP on my computer here, and I'll show you that at this point, um, GIMP is not really prepared to open up uh, the NIC plugins. So if we go to filters, we'll see that the shell out option is missing. It's not there. Uh, the way that we're going to open the NIC collection is uh, through the uh, shell out option. All right, so I'm going to go back to my desktop. And uh, you'll notice that I have a file here uh, called shell out pi. Uh, ShellOutPy is uh, a plugin that is written in Python, and this plugin will enable GIMP to call uh, the NIC modules. Now, I'm going to open up the ShellOutPy just to show you what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, Notepad++. Again, I really recommend that you install Notepad++ on your computer if you have a Windows machine. It's amazing, and um, it's much, much better than the Windows text editor. Uh, okay, so I'm going to open it up, and um, it's a relatively small file. Uh, you'll notice that um, about midway through the file, there is a program list. And what we're going to have to do is include the NIC plugins in this uh, program list. Right now, it's not there. So let me just close this file. And I'm going to put the file in the GIMP uh, plugin folder, which is located under uh, Computer, uh, C, Users, uh, the username. And it's inside the GIMP uh, folder. So in this case, it's GIMP 2.8. I'm going to click on that and go to the plugins folder. And right now it's empty. So I'm going to take the shell out pi uh, plugin and pull it inside the GIMP 2.8 uh, plugins folder. I'm just going to copy it here. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to put this to the side for now. Let's open up. Uh, GIMP 2 again and see if we can now uh, see the shell out pi option. All right, so again under filters, we go down and we see that the shell out option is there. Now I'm just going to create a new blank. Uh, project to show you uh, what we can see inside the shell out pie. Uh, as you can tell, the shell out pie at this point is grayed out. In order for it to open, you actually need to create a new project. So we're, we're going to create a new uh, image file, say OK. It's just going to be a blank file, uh, but it will allow us to open the shell out option. So we're going to open it up and we're going to see that there are a few programs in there, but none of the NIC modules are there because we haven't yet put the NIC modules uh, into the list of programs inside uh, Shellout. Uh, okay, so let's do that now. I'm going to close this and I'm going to quit uh, GIMP and I am going to once again open up the shell out pi module with Notepad. And I am also going to open up the shell out code that will enable uh, GIMP to open NIC. So let's open that again with Notepad. And here you will see the code that we need to install uh, or embed into the shellout pi module. Uh, this code is 
essentially the path to the various um, NIC modules. So there should be seven here. Let's just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Now here's what I suggest. Don't just copy and paste all of them together. I would do one at a time. Okay. So I'm going to copy the first one and put it into shell out pi right under the program list. Copy, paste. I'm going to go to the next one. Sharpener. Copy, paste. Okay, so that's all of them. Uh, let's uh, save the file. Uh, close it. Close this one. And let's open up uh, GIMP again and see if the programs are listed. All right. Once again, we need to create a new um, image. OK. Go to filters. Okay, and it's not it's not there for some reason. Um, let's close this. Open up shell out pi. Okay. Um, what I'm noticing here is that there's a comma missing after Silver Effects Pro. If one little thing is uh, wrong, it's not going to work. Put the comma in there. Okay. All right, let's uh, save this again. And close this. And open up GIMP2. Now, this, this is uh, very important. You've got to make sure that everything uh, is just right because if you make one little mistake, even a comma, it's not going to work. Let's open it up and see if it's there now. Okay, filters. Okay, shell out there. Shell out is there, which means that, okay, it's working. Let's see if all the programs that we included uh, are listed. Perfect. There they are. The Fine Sharpener Viveza Color Effects Pro, Analog Effects Pro, HDR Effects Pro, and Silver Effects Pro. Um, there are a bunch of other programs listed here, which you may not want. Let's say that you just want to have the NIC uh, programs listed, which uh, is perfectly reasonable. Uh, let's just uh, cancel this. Close. Uh, GIMP, open up shell out pi, go to where we've listed the modules, and the way to get rid of the other programs is to simply put uh, a number sign uh, in front of the listed programs. You don't have to delete them, just put a number sign in front of them, and uh, that will tell shell out to ignore those programs. So I'm going to do that. And, uh, oops, has to be a number sign. Otherwise, it will not work. And finally here. All right. So the only thing that seems to be listed now uh, is the NIC collection. Let's get rid of X and View as well. That was another program that's listed. We don't need it. Um, all right, so let's save it. Uh, close the file. Let's open up 
GIMP again and see if it's working. Let's cross our fingers. Okay, once again, let's create a uh, image file. Go to filters, shell out. It's there. Great. And sure enough, here we, we go. We have the seven um, programs associated with uh, Nick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So this is how you uh, get uh, Nick to talk with GIMP or GIMP to talk with Nick. All right. So the next uh, episode is going to be about how to use uh, Nick with GIMP.